pidió que gorroneara un filtro. I'm looking for some decent outerwear. You're in luck. Our prices are out of this world. Get it? Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Hmm. Explain everything. I think it was here. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Won't take long. Oh, hey. Hi. Not coming. Not really my jam, picnics. But Over you have here. fun. Spinning a new song anyway. Rather focus on that. Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Um, soy meat. Okay. Is this an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. We just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Said my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. That's Maddie, nice. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. 
In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is, it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, oh, sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well, my parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. I told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. We're playing! Yeah! Big trouble in Haywood! Grab your set! Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. 
This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco El Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's coolies! Is that all you've got? Nuh-uh! Watch not this! Not bad! Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Lunch is ready. Uh, but Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best! Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Haha, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey! Food's on the table. So? Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. 
Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Used to be a nomad, but the family fell apart. Years ago, feels like. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. <laughs> Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. And these problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between oh. the Atlantic and the Pacific. I do love this view. Find it calming. Yeah, I like where we are now. Right here. Outside looking in. Away from all the urban chaos. It reminds me a bit of home. Got something for you. <laughs> Your piece? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. To know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong's sure to hit the spot. 
Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. We had fun yesterday. Yeah. Oh, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Thanks. Carrie, hey. Drop whatever you're doing. Meet me at the marina. Don't make me wait. Say no more. On my way. In for a real treat, V. Uh, Night City Marina, here for. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meeting here, so nobody will bother us. Uh, Mike, um, we're talking about the cornerstone of my exactly. platform. I'm not doing You'll a U-turn just because Night Corp. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you can make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. 
NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. <laughs> Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? No. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yeah.
vote for Perales. We're paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Bloodstains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Talking to yourself again? More and more. You violated our Ever since privacy. this terrorist Sons started stalking bitches. me. Under my own roof! Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run.
It's Blue Moon from Us Cracks. You know, the band? Old Night City knows you. What's cracking? I've got a problem. I... Wait, you mean you're not calling me to ask me to be your backup dancer? <laughs> Just kidding. What can I do you for? It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. I've been getting death threats. A lot of them. All sent to my private address. I'm also being followed. I can't just wait around until something bad happens. We have to find him and, and deal with him. I don't know how much you charge me, but I'm prepared to pay whatever the cost. Believe me. Happy to help out. Oh, Carrie was right. You're like super chill. So, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not killing anyone here. That would be bad for the band's, like, PR and stuff. All we want to do is teach him a lesson. All right, whatever. You make the rules. Awesome! So, just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second.
Some V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a Corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be Corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes is all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players. String pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections.
appears that we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. The brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Cause stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? All right. You got my attention. <laughs> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtue's all yours. Couple more eddies, you use my plate. No need. I've got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this Virtue's approaching vintage grade. I doubt you'll be able to run it. <laughs> I'll try running on my own first. If that doesn't work, I'll be back. Hey, ain't no problem. You know where to find me. Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. 
Relax, no need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. If you're truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats, you'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
the city tingling with desire.